What is going on guys? We are back here with a update video. So I figured today I'd touch base since I'm at the track uh, on how the 1x7 conversion is working so far for me on my Trek Marlin 5. Um, I've had a couple of people comment, heard some good reviews, good everything. Um, recommend that you guys check that video out. It's a pretty good budget if you want to go one by. I mean like super super budget. But so far it's working. Here we have it. Like I said, it seems to be working pretty good. So we got the Shimano Altus rear derailleur. Um, got a new chain, got the new chain ring with new crank arms and the uh, guide as well. So in the last video, if you guys would watch the one by seven conversion, you would have seen how dummy me, since I'm still learning a lot, some people pointed it out and I appreciate that. I figured it out after the fact, but I had this mount on backwards. So went the opposite way. This has to be pretty much like right over the chain ring, not behind it. So I messed up on that, but now that I got it dialed in, it's working like absolutely minty. The oval uh, narrow wide chain ring seems to be working like perfect. I've had zero complaints with it. No chain drops so far, and like I'm hitting some of the flow sections and stuff here. If you can kind of see, give you like a little bit of an idea, but, but yeah. So I'm hitting some of the flow sections here at the track. It's working good. This shifts smooth, and with the ratio I have right now, like I said, I like to be a hard charger, and this seems to work pretty good. So the one by seven works perfect for me, and if you're a hard charging rider like I am, uh, I'd say it's a good upgrade. I mean, the downhill bikes, a lot of them, the championship bikes, I mean, a lot of them were one by sevens. Of course, they're like super heavy duty, and they're worth like 10 times more than the Marlin. But uh, I mean, they work, right, for what they're supposed to be. And this setup that I've come up with, I've been super stoked on. It works great, it gets me into a one by. I get rid of all three uh, chain rings up front. I've lost a bunch away with it. And since I am a hard charging rider, the only thing that would have been opposite I could have done is I could have done a single speed conversion, but I decided I want to have some gears. And with the way I have it set up right now, honestly, climbing hills, Hasn't been that bad. I mean, of course, I'm in Saskatchewan, so the hills are nothing compared to, like, the mountains. But it works. I did end up taking out a, another link on the chain. It was a little loose, so now it seems to be pretty good. I might even could get away with taking out another, but we'll see as time goes on. But everything's working great. It's shifting good. The last thing is the chain ring. I mounted that on the front side. I had to put it on the back side of the arm. So if you can see, chain ring on the back side of the arm last time I had on the front. So that was a quick swap, nothing to it. But yeah, I hope that this helps uh, you guys that watched the video and maybe didn't notice uh, some of the mistakes I made or did and you're wondering if I fixed them. So anyways, thanks for checking out the update video on the 1x7 conversion for the Trek Marlin 5. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.